Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. All right, Cancerian, so let's uh, begin your reading. We're going to be using two tarot deck. And if you see my Instagram account, you know, check it out. Follow me over there on the other side. Okay, just like Adele. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Concerians. Let's see here. Here we go. Get a five of swords. Okay, so there is a discomfort. You know, Mercury is in retrograde in Panerva Okay, that's happening on the 8th. So there is, you know, um, there's trouble. There is miscommunication going to happen. It's in your zodiac. Not in, not in Leo. This is ideal astrology. So, um, it can be... This communica communication uh, leads to someone can be walking away. You know, because, you know... The person who's in the green, they feel like victorious, but they're going to be left out. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you're the winner, but you lose everything. You lose me. So you want to be the winner? Okay, then you lose me. This is how the five swords is. Death to ego, birth of love, birth of love, death to ego. And five swords is very egoistic, right? This can be you're the person that you're dealing with. Ten of coins. Interesting. What is this? Because I think Taurus got this also. Yeah, I think Taurus. So you could have a Taurus in you. Um, five stars with a ten of coins shows here that you could have fought for a relationship and then you get the, the Ten of Coins, but there was a price that you have to lose, you know, because you can't have it all. Then the Taurus got, they got everything. That's what, the, that's what the reading is about. But with you, you can't have it all. If you want this Ten of Coins, this relationship, okay, there are things that you have to basically have a fight like you know the five swords can be your family you're gonna tell your family your friends like listen it's just like this is what's important to me the ten of coins you know this is what this is what matters to me and then of course like yeah you know it's like these people will walk away from your life because you're commitment oriented right now okay so those people will not understand you so there's fight right they don't understand your decision people will not understand this Okay, because this is what you value. You could have chosen your family, you know, ten of coins. You could have chosen a career also here, because career is that one. But this is more of like this relationship. You're choosing a relationship more than anything else. Yep, yep. Got the Hierophant. Mm, keep calling it Taurus. 
So you could have a Taurus in your in your chart. So you're choosing the relationship. You're choosing the commitment. And you're saying goodbye. You know, it can also just be death to ego with the five of swords. Goodbye to my ego, you know. You're accepting this wonderful energy coming your way. It's interesting, very, very interesting. Hmm. A commitment is coming your way. It's the true commitment. This is settling down, being married. You're choosing the married life. You're choosing the traditional route. Family. This is a person you've been dating already. Oh, yeah. You're choosing marriage. Justice. Both of you are, I feel. I don't even sense the energy of the person that you're dealing with, but I know you're choosing them. You're settling with them. Get a hierophant with the justice card. You're coming into a commitment. Justice is Ten of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles, you feel like this is some sort of big karma in your life. This is someone who brings a lot of value because the Justice and the Ten of Coins, that's a lot of value as a merchandise energy, meaning putting, you know, giving you a lot of things. This relationship is abundant. Knight of Cups can be younger water sign, but if this is you, you're really headed towards that way. You're headed towards an abundant, committed relationship. Let me see. Let me see as you head that route. Four of Coins. You might appear to be selfish and greedy, you know, to those people. Because I feel like you're cutting cords with the Five Swords. It's just like, all right, you don't resonate with me, you know. You're holding back from them now. You're choosing you. Yep, Two of Swords. A decision. You're choosing a path where not everybody will go to. Five of Cups. Other people will not be happy. It's a big choice that you have to make you're choosing yourself magician and you're taking action nine of ones and you're not stopping this is you have a driving force right now to release things that you know the five of cups is everything that was weighing you down with the magician you're basically bibbidi bobbidi boo you know, it's like you're making those things gone. You're stopping people from, you know, from telling you what to do. Five swords. And that's where the argument. Some, For some here, a lot of people are telling you stuff and you are just done with it. You know? You want to have a happy family. Oh, it can be with a Scorpio, King of Cups. In the same sex of knight and king. This is who you want to be with. Six of swords. They can be far from you. You're traveling to see them. Seven of cups energy here. Giving you, you know, different things. And what's the mo most important thing is the love. So someone here can be long distance relationship that you're going to see with the seven of cups and the lovers. Okay, if there was a choice, oh, you know, seven of cups, a lot of things, you know. But they're choos you're choosing them, and they're choosing you. You have lovers with, you know, this is a happy couple now. Mm -hmm. It's leading towards marriage and partnership. Mm. You see? So this is an abundant life that you're going to have, but it requires you to cut down cords in life, you know, in general. Like, things around you, you're going to say goodbye. Just so that you can be with this person. Five of Wands, those are people gonna stop you on their way. High Priestess, trust your intuition right now. Mm -hmm. Get a Five of Cups in order for you to, you know, to, lead, to get towards this happiness. There are things that, you know, accept that it is a loss. King of Wands energy here because someone here 
Okay, with two coins, we'll try to give you something. Okay, with a devil card showing that you know you feel like you're very drawn to this person and you can't let go. You want to be with this person. I feel can be very intimate Capricorn energy. I feel like there's a soul tie because there's a you know the red ribbon over there and the devil card. You see. So there's a tie between the two of you that, you know, like you can't separate and you're choosing this energy here. And the devil card is not devil because that's your seventh house, Capricorn energy. This is who you will choose to be with. Okay? So thank you very much, Cancer, for watching. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need for the extended. I'll continue this. Bye, guys. I feel like both of you here will come healed and cleanse. you know. Two people are drawn to each other very much. Or if they have walked away from you, someone had an aha moment. There you go. The aha moment. With you, but a death card. It's a sudden shift that you're doing. And you just gotta go. Okay. Soul makeover, scene 11, take two. There are things that come easy. And there are things that we don't even make an effort to maintain. Most often, we don't hold these things with as much as value as the ones we work for to get or to maintain because it's things we get effortlessly in our lives because of convenience. Our most valuable relationships require commitment. And commitment means giving it 100%. This means we should be willing to risk it all to gain it all. Or better yet, give it all with no guarantee of gaining anything at all. Just like the girl in the cart, maintaining a long, beautiful hair is rewarding. You can gain attention and recognition but it requires equal, if not more, amount of work to maintain. Cutting it short may still look great and easier, but it's not necessarily what we want. When we commit to a relationship, we need to put everything we've got on the line. It is the only route that could possibly lead us to the most sincere, happy relationship we will ever have. Halfway is convenience, and all the way is commitment.